I'm out of here. Bye. I want no part of this. Well, guys, um, somehow it got worse. The whole situation surrounding Sniper Wolf and Jack's films that I kind of thought had reached its maximum level of badness has somehow managed to get even worse. Now, I'm going to assume that if you clicked on this video, you kind of already know what's going on. If you didn't hear it from me, I'm sure you've heard it from one of hundreds of other videos or you just read about it on Twitter. But if you've somehow managed to come across this video and you have no idea what the title is referring to, maybe you don't even know who Sniper Wolf is, I will give you a very, very condensed quick rundown. So basically, Sniper Wolf is a YouTube OG. She has over 30 million subscribers and she's been on the platform for a very long time. She's been popular and relevant for at least a decade at this point. And while she was once a gaming YouTuber for the last few years, her content has kind of devolved to nothing but very low effort reaction videos. Now, Jax Films, another YouTube OG, caught on to this. And for about a year at this point, he's been criticizing her videos for being low effort and not containing credit for the videos she's reacting to. Well, this Friday, Sniper Wolf decided that she had had enough of this very fair criticism, and she showed up to Jax Films' home unannounced and, you know, uninvited, recorded a video of it from the outside, and then posted it onto her Instagram story with a caption of Let's Talk Like Adults, killing two birds with one stone, threatening Jax Films and his family, and doxing him to her Instagram account of 5.6 million followers. This has sent the internet into an uproar, a very reasonable one. One of YouTube's biggest and most recognizable content creators has doxxed another one of YouTube's most recognizable content creators because she didn't like what he was saying about her. And so far, nothing has been done. This all went down on Friday the 13th. I'm recording this on Tuesday the 17th. And so far, there has been no action taken or even a statement by YouTube. Now, in my last video, I said I was going to give YouTube the benefit of the doubt because it was still the weekend. And a situation like this is going to be handled by some of the bigger players at YouTube. I mean, like her or not, Sniper Wolf is probably like a top 10 most most recognizable YouTuber of all time. This is going to be a massive decision for YouTube. This is like banning a Mr. Beast, a PewDiePie. These people are the face of YouTube. They are the brand. However, we are now almost halfway through the work week and nothing has even been said. There's really been no acknowledgement about this happening, so we're starting to get into territory where it's getting a little worrisome. Doxing is not allowed per the YouTube community guidelines, and it's beginning to seem more and more likely that Sniper Wolf might end up getting a pass because she is such a big name on YouTube. I'm gonna give it to the end of the work week before I feel like anything's really definitive, but so far it's not looking great. Now YouTube's silence and their lack of action is definitely part of what is making this situation worse, but that's not really the main focus of what the title of this video is referring to. With YouTube being kind of slow to act here, the internet archaeologists have come out and they have begun to dig. One, to kind of nudge YouTube along saying like, hey, stuff like this has happened before, let's get to moving, and two, just to dunk more on Sniper Wolf because hey, who doesn't enjoy that, right? Now, what kind of sparked this deep digging besides the whole doxing event, obviously, was a particular video of Sniper Wolf on Omegle resurfacing. Now, I'm sure many of you already know the video I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be showing it because it's just something I don't really feel comfortable memorializing on my channel. So, you know, sorry, I guess. It's not the video in the background. This is just a random Sniper Wolf Omegle video I found. There's probably something messed up in this one if you looked hard enough, but it's not the one we're talking about. If you don't know what Omegle is, basically, it's this older web website for video chatting where you match with random strangers. And in the video that everybody's talking about right now, Sniper Wolf matched with what appears to be two teenage boys. This was back in 2014, which would put Sniper Wolf at either 21 or 22 years old when this video came out. And during this interaction, she asks these guys to twerk for her. I'm not joking. And in exchange, she says she will show them her breasts. Since this video has started to circulate on Twitter, Sniper Wolf deleted it from her channel. But for the last nine years, it has been on YouTube monetized and in good standing. Nine years. Now I've been gauging the reactions of people to this video on the internet and so far it seems like most people are on team this is disgusting, how did this fly? But also unfortunately a lot of people are just kind of glossing over this happening. Now let's talk plainly here for a moment. You guys know I don't really bring politics onto this channel. I'm not really that kind of guy. I like to keep it lighthearted on this channel but I feel like this situation calls for it. I feel like there is one very obvious reason why this is being looked over and kind of being pushed to the side, and that is because Sniper Wolf is a conventionally attractive woman. If a man did this, even in 2014, when the internet was kind of a more lawless place, more things flew, not a chance he would retain a following. He would probably be reported to law enforcement, and rightfully so. This is a terrible thing for anybody to do, and that's why it's so dangerous that people didn't really care when Sniper Wolf did it, and to an extent, still don't to this day. Please don't start a war in the comments. I'm not trying to get into a man versus woman thing. You guys know that I am not that type of person, but I feel like in this 
situation, bringing this up is important because we can still see this happening. With the whole doxing situation, people are like, really dude, are you afraid of a woman coming to your house? You're scared of Sniper Wolf showing up? Really? Aren't you supposed to be a man? This kind of thinking is why crimes against men are never taken seriously. This mindset that crimes against men are not valid unless it's something like getting shot by another man. I don't know how this thinking is still prevailing in 2023, probably because of people like Andrew Tate, but it's dangerous. And I think it's very easy to observe this by seeing that people are not only defending Sniper Wolf for doxing Jack's films, but they are justifying it. Saying that Jack's films made too many videos, he's really the villain here. No! If Jack's films showed up to Sniper Wolf's house at night and recorded her house and then posted it onto the internet with a vague threat, he would be sitting in a jail cell that night. What is Sniper Wolf doing? Still uploading to YouTube and making millions of dollars. Threatening people, doxing people, or showing up to people's houses, behaving this way around children, it is unacceptable no matter who or what you are. That is a non-negotiable. There's no room for nuance there whatsoever. If you defend this kind of behavior because of the kind of person doing it, you are a sick-minded individual and you need help. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about some of the other developments. Alongside this video, a few of Sniper Wolf's other whoopsies have recently come back to light in the form of her mugshots resurfacing. One for when she was arrested in 2013 for armed robbery and one for 2016 when she was arrested for disorderly conduct, apparently for fighting. So now, allegedly, we have evidence that she's been willing to commit crimes in the past, alongside that Omegle video, because what she did in that video is a crime, she's just never been charged for it, and who knows what else is hidden in her thousands of videos. So her whole thing on Instagram about how she doesn't even know how to dox and she had no ill intent, as if that wasn't laughable before, at this point I'm almost hoping it was satire. Now while YouTube has still not done anything, that doesn't mean nobody's taking action against Sniper Wolf right now. G Fuel, one of her long standing partners, has dropped her completely. If you try and find her flavors on the G Fuel website, you'll get a 404, and I'm honestly not sure if there were any to begin with, but if there were any links on her channel to her G Fuel products, those are now gone as well. Nothing in her descriptions, nothing in her bio, which I feel like that's a pretty big sponsorship. Most people partner with G Fuel have a code or something on their channel, not Sniper Wolf, so uh, seems like that bridge has been burned. If I wasn't of the opinion that G Fuel is the grossest energy drink brand there is, I might go buy one to show some support, but uh, I will not be doing that. Why do all the flavors taste like medicine? Now, there's a ton of other things people have pulled on Sniper Wolf, like her being racist, making fun of people for having cosmetic surgery, or wearing makeup when, uh, you know. Come on. And the list goes on and on, but honestly, I don't even think that list should be relevant right now. A person can have the cleanest record of all, maybe they've never done anything wrong in their life. If they then decide to go and dock somebody, that should be enough to be removed from YouTube. It's sad and it's disheartening that it feels like we have to pile on all this evidence for YouTube to do anything. Doxing a person, showing them to their house unannounced, threatening them, that should be enough. We shouldn't have to dig through the stuff that YouTube missed themselves to make a more compelling argument. I'm not saying anybody that is reported for anything should be instantly banned by YouTube. I feel like YouTube does need to do their due diligence here. They need to make sure everything that's being said is true, but communicate. Say you're looking into it. Don't just leave everybody in the dark. You've got people questioning whether or not they're even safe to criticize people on this website anymore because there's been no action taken here. Just give us something. Well, guys, what are your thoughts? What do you think is going to be the outcome? I've seen a lot of people say that they truly believe nothing's going to be done. They're just going to let Sniper Wolf slide on this. And I don't know. I feel like this has become such a huge thing so quickly. I think YouTube knows the stakes. Yes, Sniper Wolf makes them a lot of money and she's kind of part of the brand of YouTube, but the pros of keeping her on this website are far outweighed by the cons of setting this precedent that your creators are no longer safe on your website. I feel like YouTube knows that and I feel like there's only one decision to be made here. I just hope I don't end up eating my words. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.